Okay. Can we all say good morning? Good morning. Good morning, Bonnie. <laughs> this is Noah. Say hello, Noah. Hello, Noah. Hello, <laughs> <laughs> <Come> Noah. <on, baby. laughs> I'm Lisa, our mummy. This is Ala. Ala. And who's this? Today we're going to be making some poppies. Now, Hi, there's, there's lots of different ways that we can Hi, make poppies. Bobby. So we're going to make a few different types and you can see which Fresh one you might poppies. like to make. The first type that we're going to make is a toilet paper poppy. So we, what you need is a toilet paper tube and then I've just made some little snips in the tube with some scissors and just folded them out. So I've got some red paint. So we've got our toilet paper tube and we're just going to dip it in the paint. You might need to move it around to make sure that all of the petals get a bit of paint on them. And do we need a paintbrush? No, we don't need a paintbrush for this one. So can you see, look, it's got all of, all of the petals have got red paint on. Okay. And then I'm going to press that, I'm going to do mine on the other side, into the middle of my plate. And I'll be more okay, Well, Well, no one can ever go first and then you can do it in a minute. So I'm going to leave that to dry and then we'll put, we'll put some black paint. <laughs> so, that's the toilet paper poppies done. Oh, we need this. Now, we're going to make paper plate poppies. We've got some red paper and I want you to tear it into little pieces. And then what we're going to do is we're going to glue these pieces of red paper all around hey. our poppy and leave a space in the middle for your black. We've also got some black paper that we've uh, torn up. It might be a good idea to do your black paper in the middle first. I think I'll do it that way. Hold it up then so that the camera can see it. So this is my paper plate poppy. I'm not my yet. This is Sethi's. Awesome. Good job, Sethi. I'll show mine myself or by myself. Okay, well I'm going to put them away to dry. Right. While Noah's okay. finishing his poppy, you've got all the time in the world, darling. There's no rush. Now, Noah's working very hard Daddy. on his and he's oh going to have a fantastic Daddy. poppy at the Daddy. end. So, um... We're going to just leave Noah to, to carry on with his poppy and we're going to move on to doing our handprint poppies and Noah can then do his handprint poppy when he's finished, can't you bud? Yeah, I think that's going to look wonderful Noah. Right, he's going to be very wonderful. Funny. Funny. So, we're going to do handprints. We've got some just plain white paper. So, um, I might need to help with this a bit. Which hand do you want to use? This hand? Yeah. Put your hand in, make sure it gets in all your fingers. Hang on, put your hand back in because you've not got all your fingers. Smush it around a little bit. Ready, and let's see. Wonderful, let's just wipe the excess off. Right, and you just keep your hand flat and don't move your hand, okay? Ready, one, two, three. Right, and then lift it one, two, three. Yeah, good job, Seth. I didn't do that. Seth? Arla doesn't like getting messy, so this might be a bit tricky, but we'll try. Ready? Ooh. <laughs> oh, I'm going to learn a bit more. A bit more. And then on the paper, ready? One, two, three. Good job! That's a perfect handprint. So our paint, so our paintings are all drying. 
And the Bondlings are quite happy with their chocolate croissants. Uh, so I'm just going to take a moment to uh, have another go at making a felt poppy. She's got some red felt and some scissors. And I'm just going to just do a bit of a wavy circle because that hasn't, uh, hasn't got to be perfect. It's better if it's not perfect. Okay, just a bit of a wavy surf. And then I'm just going to do another one, um, slightly differently, uh, same size really, um, just to layer it up on top. Okay, so I've got two wavy circles. Then I've got a little bit of green as well. And I'm just going to make a bit of a leaf shape with it. Again, doesn't have to be perfect. A bit wave is nice. And I'm just going to pop this in between the two red circles. Just like this. And then I've got a nice big black button. I love buttons. So I've always got lots of buttons. And I'm just going to, you could glue it. Um, but I'm going to sew it in, just like this. Me, you could use black felt or even a felt pen if you've not got any. Um, there's always ways to do things, isn't there? We've just got some black thread. Molly's just fell off a chair, so we're just having a little cuddle. Okay, so I've just popped a couple of tiny little stitches um, just to catch the leaf in, but don't worry because they're going to be hidden by the button so then I'm just going to sew the button on there's my felt poppy and there it is I think the leaves supposed to be at 11 I think there we go and don't worry we will be donating to the Royal British Legion we're not just making our own puppies we always donate to them so now the bondlings are all safely in bed I can finish these little bits and show you what we've done. So with the hand prints we've um, cut out just a black circle of paper and stuck it in the middle there and then I've laminated them. Also just put a little thing on the back it says we will remember them and then this one sets. Um, um, so um, in order just to make them look a bit more poppy we're gonna just tape a, a lollipop stick on the back and then um, we're going to go down on Remembrance Day and just pop them in the sand pit at the cenotaph um, just to pay our respects. You don't have to laminate them um, but because we are putting them outside um, I just thought it would be safer to have them laminated. There we go, that's one just stuck on with some with some tape. That's poppy handprints. Okay, so you saw the uh, felt poppy that I did. Um, I've got a, a load of little teeny tiny pegs, so I'm gonna either sew it in properly or maybe glue it in, and then you can wear that as a little not on your pajamas unless you want to. You can wear it as a little brooch or something. Um, <laughs> the toilet paper tube prints that we did, this one was mine, um, but actually I think that Baby Arla's was a lot more effective and what she did, whereas I just kind of splodged it on, um, <laughs> she twisted it, uh, twisted the cardboard tube and it just turned out like this which I think is really really effective. And there it is. You could, if you wanted to, use a bit of green felt to make a, a leaf. Um, I'm not going to do that. I think it's quite nice as it is. And then finally we've got our paper plate poppies, which have turned out quite nicely. Now they've dried. So that is four. Right, that, that's four ideas for you. Nice, simple ideas and you can adapt them um, you know based on whatever 
you've got to hand. 